Hello, you crazy awesome dancers, and welcome back to another Bachata video. In this one, we have like two questions, two requests, and we are going to do both of them in the same video. The two requests are this one and this one. First, we are going to start with that Daniel and Desiree move because, like, I don't know if they were the first doing it, but they were the first that promoted to say so, like everybody saw it on them. So, of course, we are not going to copy it, we are not going to do it exactly like them, it's going to be our variation, our own way of doing it. And, of course, we are going to show you two ways, two variations to that move. And the other request, it's about the windmill for the girl, and we hope that you are talking about like, uh, you know, like this move when the girl is doing this with her arms. If this isn't the windmill that you are talking about, let us know in the comment section down below. And of course, on this one we are also going to show you two variations. That being said, don't forget to subscribe and most importantly click the bell button and enable the notification. That is the true subscribe, because otherwise you won't receive any notification when we upload something new. Let's go! First, we're going to start with that Daniel and Desiree move, of course, as we said, our variation, our own way of doing it. First on music, then on counts and the explanations. Basic step, one, two, three, four, let's go, six, seven, eight, and in and out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, let's do a mambo, seven, eight, and one, two, from the other side, five, six, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are going to explain you now the details of doing like the middle of the combination and then showing you different ins and different outs of this move. Because right now you see we are doing it fluid and we have to do a mambo at the end. This is one way, but we also can do a mambo in the beginning or a wave or a suave. So we have different combinations that we can try. But now let's talk about the core of this move. First, we both have to let's say learn some steps, some moves that will help us in many other uh, dance moves, but especially in this one. We call this move, like the baseline of it, the back break on two. So, let's say we go on a basic step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stop. We are going to step back two steps, like one, two. It's especially important here to change the weight. Don't go like this, like one, two, and go with the same leg, yeah? So it's like left, right, left, tap, yeah? Like in a normal basic. So, step, 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 tap. This is the baseline. I think we already have like a forward break on two, you know, when we do this step, we are doing the exact same step forward, so if you have it, it's gonna be there, yeah? And now we are going to go in an advanced way of doing this step. We are going to do some openings, some swivels with our body, because in this way, uh, we are going to lead the girl easier. It's hard to do, let's say, this move like this, like back and forward. It's really, really hard. But if we add those small openings, gonna exaggerate them a lot, like here, 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 you see, it's a lot easier because, uh, because it's like, you know, like leading the moves and it's much easier for the follower to understand. Now we are going to show you how to practice along these openings, okay? We are going with our left backwards. So, open, 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 and do the tap. Once again, and 
One, two, three, four. So we've started with the back break on two. We've added those openings. Now it's especially important for the leaders, uh, but we are going to show you directly in couples that is we are gonna do like a kick, like we're kicking the ball to say so on three to four, because we don't want the girl to do the tap. We want her to go like, you know, like in this position. Of course, we are going to close her to switch her uh, position to go in front, etc., etc., etc. But first that easy, let's say in and out, back break with openings. We are going to start directly with a in and out. So we go one, two, three, four. Remember to have a correct position. Check the videos. Now we are going to do them, let's say alone. I'm not gonna lead now. So we just go back open, back open, forward, and now for tap. But here, when I go on three, if I go like, you know, like, Kicking, you see, the girl is gonna lift her leg. Of course, guys, don't actually kick a ball. It's the idea of going first with your, let's say, not your knee, this side of your leg, to have contact with her leg and make her lift her leg a little bit. Ladies, it's our job how we raise the leg, okay? We can raise it, we can uh, get the signal from the guy and raise it like this, but it's not beautiful, so we will go like in a stylish way, with our toes down and a little bit like uh, whipping the floor. But let's talk now about the leading and the following. So we are gonna stay in this position to see better. I am going to use her left hand, let's say it, like a target, you know, it's like this, like this, like this, yeah, like choo, choo, pew, pew, pew. Counter terrorists <laughs> win. But it's not gonna go forward, it's gonna go back. Why? Because if I hold her hand like this, and I try to go back, it's gonna feel like this. And it's not good, it's not, it's not comfortable. Instead, if I go back with my body, you see I go with her hand. And this is, this is the part where that target comes because she's like following the target, like here, like here, like here, like, ooh, boom, yeah? It's really easy once you feel her body, once she has some tension, once she understands this, uh, target motion, you know, and you just need to practice and be mindful about the move. So we go back. I go back one. I switch my position. I also go back on two, two. Now the target, yeah, goes forward like three. And now I do that kick, but the target goes a little bit up. We're going to exaggerate, go up and down. It's like up and down. Guys, this is how it looks. Let's say doing it alone. So we go like, one, two, three, and we step here to the side while we position her in the front. So, one more time from this position, in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Afterwards, it's really simple. After she goes down here, she needs to understand how to bend her knees, her legs. Yeah, ladies, you need to be very careful about your position. Don't go like this. Yeah, so your right foot, after it's going up, I will put it in front and I will have like uh, my legs opened, uh, let's say 90 degrees. Yeah, one is like this and one is forward. In this way, I have a nice posture and I keep my back straight and I will look pretty. And of course, don't go, don't go like this or like this. Yeah, it's like in a squatting motion to say so, but with different uh, leg positions. Guys, we only do like a squat like this to say so because she's in front of us. We need her to have space like this. And the exit, like in this uh, simple scenario, is like just getting up, up, and then it's like a frisbee towards the out. We have shown you and we've talked about like the main and almost all the details that are important in this move, but the most and most critical one is to create a proper connection and have a proper posture because if you connect properly with the girl and you just do the move while you're connected, everything should go a little bit smoother. And of course you have to practice it a lot until you understand the motions. Let's say practice it 100 times and it should be a lot better than your first try. But don't expect this move to be awesome on your, let's say, first 10 tries. So we're gonna do it one more time from this position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, yeah, one down, two up, and like a frisbee using the right hand. Three, four, like a half frisbee. Here we do like a mambo to go back on time in one, two, three, four. 
And this is, let's say, that Daniel and Desiree move. Yeah, of course, only until here because on the exit you can do a lot of different stuff. If you want it to be more easier on the outside, yeah, we can go like one, two, three, four. Here you can do like a mambo, five, six, seven, eight, and start the move on one. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we go into the basic. And of course you can let's say replace that uh, mambo with a suave one two three four or you can do like a wave anything you want in order to start back on one and that way when you go out you go into the basic directly so let's say these are the two variations going in and out yeah going in a simple in and going directly into the move and doing something at the finish or doing something in the beginning and exiting in a simple way. The variation, a variation to this move, of course, as we said, you have many different exits, but we are not going to go down here. I'm going to push the girl to the side. The technique, it's almost the same, but instead of doing this circular motion going down, I'm going to do like an <gasps> and push or, you know, like a... Spadacin. Ha! Yeah, so we go like this, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I push two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have this pushing motion to say so in the previous lesson called uh, shadow position variations, check it out here, and we explained uh, that pushing motion. But just a fast recap from this position, when I want to push the girl, it's like here, I will step on my right leg, you see my right leg, I'm gonna do a stepping motion. I'm gonna push her to the side, but turn and push, don't push her like this, yeah? And I'm gonna go to my left leg. Yeah, then we just come back and uh, do a mambo and exit. Here it's the same thing as we said before. You can do something else in the beginning in order to exit directly on one. Now we are going to do like a wave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. For the ladies, it's not mandatory to do that thing with the leg, it's just a styling uh, move, but you can try it because it's look, it looks pretty and elegant. Not like a ninja, just <laughs> elegant. <laughs> like an elegant ninja. <laughs> be careful to have your toes to the towards the floor don't stay like this with your uh, foot okay just to, to look nice and another thing if you don't want to do that thing with uh, with your leg you can go with your hip only to the side like boom and then come back to the guy this is the simpler version you crazy awesome dancers as we always say it's not the move that's important it's how you do it and how it feels a common mistake it's that you are not coordinating your different signals for example, your hands, your body, your feet, and so on. So it's really important, especially for the leaders, to understand like, you know, doing the motions at the same time. You see, like I go with my hand and I stop at once with the other feet, like two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, to coordinate hand, body, rotation, hips, legs, etc. This, in addition to the connection, will help you make any move in this world possible on the social dance floor. Of course, no acrobatics and choreographies, okay? So this was the first part. Now we are going to talk about the windmills. We are going to show you on music, of course, and then with counts, but here we also have like two variations. One is when the girl will go with her arms directly and another one which will be a little bit delayed, but Elena will explain everything. Basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. And from the other side, three, four, five, six. Let's go. Throw the hands, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are not going to put an emphasis on how you get into that position because in this case, we, I only throw the hands. There are a lot of variations. But girls, guys, it's important like before the core of the move, when the girl goes with her hands. For the ladies, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once again, now with the explanation, one, two. On two, I have my hand up. On three, four, while the guy is preparing me for the turn, I will go with my right hand down. Three, four. Here, when I start the turn, when I'm doing the first step, I will change my hands. Five. Then on six, I change them again. Then again on seven and eight. Now, ladies, it's very important to change your hands while you are with your back or with your front towards the guy. Never when you are to the side because you will hit him. Okay, so you have to think like you have step and then change the hand, but very fast, like in a millisecond. So go like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not like this, five, six. So it's important always to remember your hands to pass the guy and only after that change them. Like five, six, seven, eight. It's important to understand leaders, followers, when you can do this move. For me, it's a really good example when I throw the hands and I'm doing something else and I go for the hip to make a turn because I could throw the hands and do a different move. I could request the hand, I could go in an infinite number of variations. So followers, from my point of view, it's important to wait until the last moment you understand what the guy wants and if you see like in this case i go like one two and i go for the hip which means most probably i will do because i don't have the other hand i will do like a turn then you can do this because it's like a styling move to say so like five six seven eight now we are going to do the second variation. It's not very different. It's just a delayed start and we are going to start on six doing the windmill with our right hand. So it's going to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time from this position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can use this variation usually when the guy is playing with our hands like alternatively because usually the one that is going first down goes first up and also will be the first that um, comes to the neutral position. So in this combination that we have now, it will be like one, then the other one and this one needs to go down. Okay, so I will have directly my right uh, arm up and this is the reason why I will change on six first. So think like this, for the leaders, for the followers, both have this uh, detail in mind. When I throw both her, both her hands, she likes decides the best way she can go. And she's going with her left first, meaning like five, six, seven, eight. But when I go the, the hands, when I throw the hands in this order, yeah, she has the other hand up. And if she would go down with this one first, it would be weird like this. Yeah. Because then when I go, it's gonna be weird. I have to get my hand, hand out and it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Nobody says that you cannot do it like this, but it's a, it's a little bit harder, more difficult and you have like an obstacle in your way. So just think, ladies, which hand you have up, remember to just turn and then move the hands. Leaders, remember to not signal in a mixed way, meaning like, you know, you go with this hand and then you want to go uh, and do something else and the girl won't understand what. Be really, really clear, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Before we end this video, it's important to know that these moves, all of them, all the variations are not simple moves. They, we don't teach them at beginners. And for us, beginners are like six to one year of 
dancing. Uh, of course, if you're like uh, a fast learner, you can add them in your repertoire, but for the leaders, remember it's much more important to coordinate all your body with the signals, you know, like step, hand, body, hips, etc. And for the ladies to first understand and follow the leader's signals. Only then do your styling and your different moves. Guys, girls, dancers, be sure to practice safe and remember that you need some repetitions in order to succeed in any combination or any move. It doesn't come like this. So until next time, be sure to subscribe, to click the bell button, activate those notifications. If you want, follow us on social media and let us know in the comment section down below what other moves you want to learn. That being said, love you. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.